This is going to be the feet of our player and then I'm gonna right click the newly created player empty game object and I'm gonna create a new empty game object and call it arms pivot. Zero. And this is going to be the feet of our player and then I'm gonna right click the newly created player empty game object and I'm gonna create
will be the pivot for our model so you'll have to set the correct height I'm gonna set mine to 1.65 I think that's a pretty good height for the arms once I change the position on the arms pivot I'm gonna right click again and create a new object it's gonna be a empty object called arm I just want to have it there and I'm going to take my low poly arms and I'm going to drag them into the arms and the object.
still keep it here because it, op it optimizes the game object uh, for movement. Just keep it there, click is, is kinematic, don't worry about it. I'm gonna add a capsule, to, uh, capsule collider because we need.
twisted Again, I'm gonna set the height, make sure that the height is two. I'm gonna set the
gonna set the center on the y axis to 1. You wanna make sure that this is at the fifth level. If it's right here, then your character will pop up. If it's right here, then your character uh, will go down. So make sure that that's at the ground level. In order to actually use this character controller to move the player, I'm gonna have to create a script. And I'm gonna go to my assets in the project view.
a player controller, we're going to need some variables for our move speeds. I'm going to create a private float. Float is a number with a decimal value, so something like... I'm gonna create a private float for run speed. your player and then drag the player controller on. This one is gonna be called, I'm gonna create a private flow onto it. Just Thank you.
one is going to be called speed and then I'm going to create it. And that's all we'll need for now, but we want to be able to see these values in our in, in Unity. So if you save this, go into Unity, select your player, and then drag the player controller onto it. run speed onto it save this go into you can see that there's select your player and then drag the player controller onto it should open your script if it doesn't you can go into unity edit preference it's not in here our move speed
it and then I'm gonna create a private you can see that there's a bit float for uh, walk speed I'm gonna create a private float for run speed and that's all we'll need for now but we want to be able to see these values in our in, in unity so if you save this go into